Alrighty, so we're going to be talking about chips. Chips are pretty cool because they give you the ability to essentially have a button, but a button that does a little bit more than just be clicked on. And so let's come in here and make our first chip. Sorry if you hear any background noise right now. I just moved about a month ago, and little did I know that my apartment complex is right next to some train tracks. And also, I'm not too far away from where the dumpsters are. So, if you hear any uh, alarms in the back or any beeping, it's not the police coming to get me. It's just some random crap happening outside. So, we got this here. Label. Like a type. My first chip. And this is going to be not very exciting. Looks like a button. Can't really click on it, kind of sucks. But if we wanted to do something and interact with it, which you most likely would want to do, unless you have some logic stating otherwise, we'll explicitly make it clickable. Remember, this is set to true. If we wanted to make it disabled, we could come in here and do that as well. It's all grayed out. The clickable ability is removed. Let's get rid of disabled here. And so another thing that we could do is we could add an avatar. And an avatar, essentially, if you've used like Microsoft Teams, Skype, been in a chat room, the Facebook uh, Messenger, anytime you see, like, they typically do like a circular icon of someone's face or whatever their profile picture is and their name next to it. That picture is the avatar, it's a representation of them. So come here, have the avatar, and let's just say it's Bob. So you now see that Bob is the avatar right here for my first chip. So let's switch this up. So say this is like a, a Steam chat or video game forum chat type of thing. And you'll have your avatar here. And if no picture is provided, maybe your logic is just the player's first name. And this could be all loaded with people that are in it. Maybe that's one way you want to do it. I'm not sure. So let's just keep that and keep uh, moving along here. And then one other thing that we could do is we had a variant here. And we could see that we can make this actually outlined, which is pretty neat, awesome, cool. I want to write home about it, but that is something that you have the option to do if it fits with what you're doing. Another thing we could do is add some on click functionality. So I'm not going to make anything too special or too awesome here, but I think this is kind of neat when it comes to how compact these things could be. You clicked on Bob, but also what we could do is we have the on delete as well. So let's come in here. Come on in. Maybe everyone likes Bob. But what we're going to need as well is we're going to need a delete icon. Now, why do you need a delete icon? Well, let me show you. Let's just click in here. And so what we're going to need is this, because you're going to need an on delete for the delete icon. If you just have a delete icon, it wouldn't show up. You kind of need these things in a pair, both of these deletes. So let's click here. You clicked on Bob. Awesome. You know, we're over here. You clicked on Bob. So everything over here is covered by the on click, but let's come over here. You deleted Bob, jerk. So this icon over here takes on the abilities of on delete right here, which is pretty cool as well. And these are just some of the things you could do with chips. Maybe what you want to do is you want to have, you know, these be, you want to populate these on the page as part of a search. So I want to do something like, you know, Male clothing. 
Then for your second one, it could be, you know, socks. So you may have like a search bar or something you're looking for here. You type in what you need. And then when you hit enter, it saves this, puts it on the page, and your search results are reflected by these chips you have here, which you could delete if you don't want to look for men's clothing or clothing for males anymore. Or maybe you just want to, you know, you don't want to look for socks anymore, but you want to look at um, clothing for men over here. It's, it's however you want to use it, but these are some of the possibilities with chips. Like I said, they're pretty compact, like buttons, but a little bit more functionality, and that's it.